Hey, Dave here, inventor of the Valued, the virtually indestructible USB drive. In this video, we'll be looking at high temperature testing of the Valued. But before we begin, I want to talk about how high temperatures affect it. Now for the case, we have aluminum and titanium cases. Aluminum melts at around 700 degrees Celsius, titanium at 1700 degrees Celsius. By the time either of those melt, what's inside is going to be gone. So we're not too worried about the case failing. On the inside, we have the O-ring for the seal. That's made of baton rubber, which has a rating of 200 degrees Celsius. But if that does fail, it's very easy and cheap to replace. We also have two magnets on the in inside for the cap. Now, regular neodymium magnets begin to fail at around 80 degrees Celsius. They begin to lose their magnetization from the heat. What I've done for the Vayud is use high temperature neodymium magnets. They have a rating of 150 degrees Celsius. On the inside of the bayou we have epoxy. That protects the USB from the heat as it has a low thermal conductivity. That's rated up to at least 150 degrees Celsius. And that brings us to the USB itself. That's the most heat sensitive component. On the USB connector we have a little bit of plastic. That can melt anywhere between 110 and 150 degrees Celsius, depending on what type of plastic it is. So that's really going to limit how much heat the connector can take. Now, aluminum conducts heat very well, so we would expect the titanium version to do a little bit better. Uh, it'll transfer the heat less quickly from the outside to the connector. And that brings us to the USB itself, or more specifically, the flash memory. Now, flash memory and temperature is a little tricky. There's no magic temperature that it fails at. It's not like it, it's okay at 120 degrees Celsius and it fails at 121. But rather, as you increase the temperature, the chance of failure increases. So now e here, even at room temperature, there's a very small chance that a bit could go bad. Not very likely. But as we increase the temperature, that chance gets higher and higher until we finally reach a point where you're almost guaranteed it'll go bad. Now, that makes temperature rating the value a little bit tricky because technically the USB could fail at any time. But what we'll do is we'll do a bunch of temperature tests and try to choose the temperature ratings that have a very low chance of the USB failing. Alright, so on to the tests. So you may have noticed the pot of boiling water beside me here. That's been uh, boiling for about an hour. Inside is one titanium and one aluminum volume. So what I'll do is I'll take them out of the water, let them cool down a bit, and then test them to make sure they still work. So anytime I test a Bayoud, I usually test the USB memory afterwards to make sure it's okay. I do that a couple different ways. One program I use is called HD Tune Pro. It's just a basic drive benchmarking and error detection utility. And that will tell me if there's any bad blocks on the flash memory. Also, before the test, I always fill the memory with a bunch of very large files. And then afterwards, make sure the files haven't changed. Basically, I'm looking for random bit flips in the data. Between those two tests, I can make sure the USB flash memory has survived anything I give it. For the two values that were in the boiling water for one hour, both of them passed the test successfully, so we can move on to the next test. Next, we're going to test the value in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius. I mainly chose that temperature because the extreme key is rated at 200 degrees for three minutes, and I want to make sure the value can beat that. We'll start the testing at five minutes and try to work our way slowly up to ten minutes. I don't want to destructively test the value just yet because I have lots of testing left to do. So the values have been in there about five minutes. I'll take them out, cool them down, and test the flash memory like last time. So I just tested the two values that were in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for five minutes, and they were okay. So we'll just repeat the test a few times and increasing the time they're in the oven a little bit as we go.
So I just finished testing the volume in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius. I started at 5 minutes and managed to work my way all the way up to 10 minutes. I tested the flash memory after each test and found no problems. So we can move on to the next temperature test. I'm here in front of my fireplace ready to do the open flame test. Now the temperature of an open flame is around 500 to 1000 degrees Celsius. And we'll want to go for at least 30 seconds. That's because the extreme key is rated in fire for 30 seconds. So we'll start at 30 seconds and work our way slowly up to at least a minute and uh, see how the volume does. So I just finished testing the volumes in the fire and got up to one minute with no problems. I could go a bit longer, especially with a titanium version. Even after one minute, the case only got up to 100 degrees Celsius. But I don't want to destructively test it just yet. I have one more temperature test left to do. The last test I'm going to do with the volume is with a propane torch. Now a propane flame burns at around 2000 degrees Celsius. That's more than twice the open flame test that we just did. I'll start at 10 seconds of exposure and try to work my way up to 30 seconds. I already did a 10 second test and that was successful. This will be a 20 second test. So I just finished testing the volume in the propane flame for 30 seconds and that went very well, no problems. So that's the end of our high temperature testing for the volume. Just to re review what we've put the volume through, we've boiled it for an hour, we've had it at 200 degrees in the oven for 10 minutes, we've had it in a wood, fl wood flame for 1 minute and in a propane flame for 30 seconds. And what's the damage after all that? Well very little. Most importantly, the USB itself is fine, the plastic in, in the connector didn't melt, and the internal flash memory is fine. None of the O-rings were damaged at all, and externally, the cases received only minor soot and scorch marks. Most of that will wash right off. The only thing to note is really the magnets. While it still works, you can definitely tell it's a lot weaker than it once was. That means we must have got the magnets above 150 degrees Celsius, and they began to lost their magnetization. The effect is stronger on the aluminum version. On the titanium version, the low thermal conductivity of the titanium protected the magnets a little bit more. So how does this compare with other rugged USBs? Well, the only USB that has any sort of high temperature ratings at all is the extreme key. And the value beat its ratings by at least a factor of two, if not more. So that's it for high temperature testing of the Bayoud. I hope you enjoyed watching it.